This is Ken Pyle with VOD TV at the uh, 2012 Broadband Community Summit. We're with uh, Joey Durrell, right. mayor of Lafayette, yeah. uh, Louisiana. Right. Uh, Lafayette, of course, is famous for being one of the uh, cities, a real pioneer in bringing you know, municipal fiber right. uh, to its citizens. Uh, right. Why don't you give us an update of where, where that project is? Well, we've got uh, thousands of customers. We probably have in the neighborhood of 25 to 30 percent of our population now that's connected to fiber. And um, we just announced a couple of weeks ago that we are now able to deliver a true gigabit and I think more significant, or if there is anything more significant, but we, we can deliver now a true gigabit for $1,000 a month. And so, um, you know, what that means to hospitals and, and businesses, office buildings, things like that, our university, uh, we have already had, we already had a gigabit connection to every high school in Lafayette Parish, mm -hmm. and, um, and every school in Lafayette Parish has a 100 megabit connection. Uh, and when we announced our gigabit connection, the, the true gigabit connection, um, uh, some of the private schools are now you know, we have one of our private schools that is our first customer of that, that particular um, connectivity and um, because all their kids have laptops now and, um, and so they wanted to really increase that bandwidth for them and so it's, it's, things are going well. There are a lot of questions I have to ask, but I, let's stay on the education one for a moment. Are you seeing a lot of uh, new applications, maybe blended learning, where the kids can actually go home, do the lessons at home, uh, you know, and then come back to the school and uh, get help there and so forth? Are, are there new applications like that? Well, I think that schools are working on that. You know, I, I'm not as directly involved in that as the as a school system is, but you know, we just we can we provide the connection. But I, I know of a, a school just last week, uh, a group of kids connected with a, another school out of state. I don't. I don't think they were actually in China, but they would, they would, they would, it was a Mandarin Chinese class. Okay. And um, we're working on something right now with the school system to where we connect uh, our French immersion class, younger kids, to a, a sister city in Poitiers, France, and letting them solve problems together. Okay. Um, so, you know, there's, there's some distance learning uh, sort of opportunities like that that are also very culturally uh, rich and, um, and, and a good opportunity there. But there's no doubt that the schools, in fact, this week, uh, tomorrow, uh, Todd Parks, who is the Chief Technology Officer of the United States, the Chief Technology Officer of Microsoft, um, the uh, founder of Priceline.com, and some other VIPs will be in Lafayette for a code fest. And Todd Parks, who, who is, like, as I said, the Chief Technology Officer of the country, uh, chose Lafayette because of our fiber. So it's one of those things that you know we've 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 gotten that kind of recognition from from people like that who can come to our town and the the whole code fest is to is a challenge it's a contest to write code that's connected that's that's um that is medically related but in particular childhood obesity and so whoever wins that contest will get twenty five thousand dollars and and some other opportunities. Well, and as I recall, there were quite a few kind of incubator type. Of things you were doing down there. Uh, as I recall, there was something about uh, graphics and uh, uh, animation for films and so forth, right? Well, actually, um, yeah, we have something called the Light Center, a Louisiana Immersive Technology Enterprise, and it's a, uh, it's a 3D animation sort of um, facility. Uh, I, I guess I, I said that wrong, but it's a, um, it's, it's a really high-tech building. And, um, but when Secretariat, the movie Secretariat was made primarily mostly in Lafayette, um, a company there called, that came in to do some work on Secretariat called Pixel Magic came to Lafayette, fell in love with the culture, fell in love with the food, but also fell in love with the technology that we had available. And so they now have an office in Lafayette, and they, they just got through doing one of the 3D um, movies. I think it was maybe one of the Harry Potter movies, mm -hmm. and they're doing a lot of 3D animation work on older movies and things like that. And um, so they, they have found, and, and one of the, of course, one of the advantages they have in Lafayette is that while they're located in that light center initially, they now, they also know that they can eventually have their employees working from a home with a 100 megabit connection directly to that light center uh, and having all the security they need and, um, but not having to pay the high rent for an office building. Well, and that leads to kind of this question, you know, the 29, 30 percent of the people who've chosen your service, what is causing them to choose it? Is it things like work at home or other things? Well, you know, I'm going to tell you that the reality is that we believe that a certain percentage, the initial people who really bought into it quick were, were civic-minded people mm -hmm. who just wanted to see Lafayette flourish and see Lafayette do well and, and take advantage of a community-owned asset. Um, and then you get to the people who, who wanted, you know, faster internet and things like that. And now we're starting to get the people who have you know, that now that it's sort of proven itself, because there's always those that want to wait and, and they don't mm -hmm. want to be the guinea pig. Um, uh, so it is, it is as, as the word gets out about how um, reliable it is and, um, you know, no longer drop phone calls. You don't, and of course, the internet speed is untouchable. Mm -hmm. um, 
we're getting, I think, a fast and faster rate of people that are coming on board. And, and the, the work at home is, is something that's important. You know, we're a college town. We have about 17,000 people in our university, University of Louisiana, um, community college, technical college. Uh, the high schools, again, they're, they're plugging into it quite a bit so that they're, they're teaching a whole new generation about what's available. And, of course, they're going home and teaching their parents about it. Television, I told somebody the other day, with our gigabit connection, that doesn't necessarily mean a lot to you and me as individuals, mm -hmm. but Quad TV is out there, and Quad TV takes a gigabit to get that kind of definition, you know, that kind of resolution. So, um, it, not that I would go out and spend $1,000 a month for a gigabit just to watch television, but it tells you the direction the world is going. And, uh, and so, I'm always curious about what, what's going to happen medically. Mm -hmm. What will we be able to do by plugging something into our fingers or around our, our arm? To send something to the doctor, you know, from our home, and uh, and so the applications that are that are that are going to be coming uh, in the future, um, I believe, with Lafayette's connectivity, the size of our town, the, the the quality of life that we have to offer, and now with with that kind of connectivity, we can become a laboratory for companies can experiment with broad with broadband, um, high-speed broadband, in a town like Lafayette, to what they can deliver to the rest of the world later.